Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do some more missing mother women and children cases. I'm here to break the codes if I see any. I'm here to see where their bodies are located if they know. And I'm also here to see if they are alive, deceased, the body suited, okay? Let's begin. Y'all should already know who these people are. They done did this. The KKK, the white supremacists, and the fake Black Panthers, okay? Call me what you want. Let's begin. This is about a young woman named Angelica Wysinger. W-Y-S-I-N-G-R and boyfriend, she's saying no, killed in drive-by, nine-year-old, also shot, her child, okay? This is how she looks. The violence in St. Louis had capitated the United States. That's a shot to you, Grammy, and C. And in 2015, two people were fatally shot while driving down the highway as three children were huddled together in the back seat. Yeah, she's telling me y'all should know, okay, who did it? It was around 7 o'clock p.m. in the downtown area of St. Louis near Leisure Park at 26-year-old Angelica Weisinger and her boyfriend, 23-year-old William Quimby, was in their vehicle with their three children, her three children, when they became victims of gun violence. She was actually robbed. She was carjacked, okay? Like they were telling y'all in their interviews that she was actually carjacked with her three kids. Her three kids are deceased. Whoever the dude is carjacked them. He's a tick. He carjacked them, okay? And they came, okay, a gun violence. She did have a gun in her car, okay? William will be behind, because they had that's one of the rules in St. Louis. Williams were behind the wheel when the blended family was chased down by another vehicle, described as silver in color, that began shooting at them. Police investigating the attack believing that one, if not both of the adults, were targets. As the gunfire rang out, the terrified children tried to take cover by holding on to one another. She's saying they gone. I'm seeing her crying. The two-year-old and seven-year-old were not injured in the shooting. However, the nine-year-old was shot in the hand and taken to the hospital where they were treated, the fake hospital. They loved each other. Angelica's aunt, Charisse, Cherie, S-H-U-R-E-E, Wysinger said, she was the life of the party, always bubbly. He was a good guy. Okay. Um, some regarding the Night Stalker too, LeJante Kyla, and April. By the time police and emergency responders arrived, they found that William was shot in the head and in, the, and in his torso. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Angelica Rysinger showed the signs of life, so she was rushed to a nearby hospital, but later succumbed to her injuries. She was shot in her left shoulder and her hip. Okay, somebody, somebody named Robert Cohen, don't follow him, she said. Cousins of Angelica Jelly Wysinger watched Memorial Grove where two killed in STL St. Louis drive-by shooting. Okay, those are the kids as well, I think, I assume, or the demon babies I'm hearing, okay? Relatives couldn't believe that Angelica's, who were known as Jelly, to family members, would ever fall victim to this sort of violence. They, yeah, true, they saying true. I'm hearing everybody knew about her. Unbelievable. We never thought it would be her out of all people, said Rossinger's cousin, Siobhan Shrink. Another cousin, Corey McCoy, said, she's saying they fake. Whatever was necessary for her to do for her kids and take care of her kids, that's the type of mother she was. McCoy was the person who played a matchmaker to Angelica and William because he thought they would make a great match. This is one of the games in St. Louis from the coat, okay, that people that actually live there. Okay, the coat, okay, they would play games like that. Okay, like it a it a stop sign or something, okay? Um, so you will usually just go through the, the traffic lights and the stop signs if you live in that area, okay? You won't get fine or nothing, okay? McCoy was the person who played matchmaker to Angelica and William because he thought they would make a great match. The girl's father, the young son of father in my family. We got them very well taken care of. We just want to make sure they okay, said McCoy. She don't have no enemies. She was a people person. Everybody loved her. That's why we have so much support back here right now. Okay, this is also how she looks. Okay. There hasn't been any updates on the risk in this case. At the time of the double murder, investigators were looking for a silver vehicle, but there wasn't any information on a make or model. 
So Vanglitz footage from surrounding businesses was turned over to the police, but there hasn't been any word on whether or not that yielded any new information. Yielded any new information. I'm hearing two things: either her child, her kids are still alive, and she just went ahead and took her life for them, or they are okay. I feel like it's the first one though. No, her family members are saying no. She, they sent her sent them they body parts in the mail. The detectives have a great deal of care and concern for the victims, and they got to focus on the investigation. Police Captain Michael Sack said, You see a family like this shot up easily, the car will riddle with bullets. Just senseless. It's frustrating to have a deal with and try and find those responsible for it. It's a shot to Michael. Please share this article to continue the discussion about the drive-by murders of this young couple. Angelica Reisinger is our sister and her life matters. Something regarding church. If y'all want to help with this case, y'all can. I don't do it for the fame or the money. I do because what I love to do. I'm going to donate to some of my non-profit organizations. Y'all can down below. I did accept the job. Okay, I'm out, people.